Hi, we're back now, and at this point in the lessons, you're ready to start working on getting a good sound. Sound is very important on the saxophone. Having a beautiful sound identifies you. All the greatest saxophonists in the world had great sounds. They all sound different, unique, but they all play with big, beautiful sounds. There are many things you need to think about when you're getting a good sound. And one of the first things, the most important thing in my opinion, is having a good air stream through the saxophone, breathing deep and blowing all the way through the saxophone when you do it. Now, if I'm slouched over, I won't be able to get a good air stream. I won't be able to breathe deep and get a big sound. If I'm slouching or if I'm sitting sideways in a chair, sitting back, like when I'm playing in band, I won't get a good sound. I can demonstrate that for you too. Watch this. I'm going to slouch over and try to get a good sound. Not very good. Now let me do the same thing standing up straight. So my airstream flows much better when I'm standing with good posture. So that's the key. Have good posture all the time when you're playing saxophone, whether you're sitting in band class or practicing at home standing up or sitting down, whatever you prefer. You should be able to do both because there are many situations we stand and when we sit. Now the next thing we need to talk about, we haven't gotten to yet and you're probably wondering when are we going to get to this, is how to hold the hands on the saxophone. Now you can see what I'm doing while I'm playing. You see my hands, but I haven't talked about it yet, and I'm going to be very specific so you can learn. There's a left hand and there's a right hand. The left hand is always on top, and the right hand is always on the bottom, and they're fixed in position. You're never going to move them from one spot to another. They always stay there. They don't move around. It's not like playing piano, not like playing guitar. You always keep your hands in the same spot on the saxophone. In some ways it makes it easier. So we'll start with the left hand, the top hand. We're going to start with the thumb and then go to the index finger, the first finger, the second finger, the middle finger, the third finger, we call that the ring finger, and the pinky finger. I'll show you where to put all those fingers. So in the left hand, the thumb goes on what we call the thumb rest, as so. Right there, thumb rest, fits right into that spot. The index finger, the first finger, will go right below that top key. It doesn't touch on that top key. That's not the one we want. We want to skip that, go down here, right here is the spot. The second finger, the middle finger, skips that little key. We don't, we don't go on that little key. That's for other things. Later on, we go to the middle, middle key right there. That's, that's the, the key we want. And then the third finger goes down to that key right there. Pinky will go around these keys right in here. They're called the spatula keys. And we might move around. We have to be flexible with that finger. The pinky has to be flexible. It moves around. You can rest it right there for now, but eventually you're going to be moving it. Now to the right hand. Same thing. Thumb, one, two, three, four. Okay, we're going to use all those fingers. The thumb goes on the thumb rest right there. Hook's in there. There's a little hook. Just hang it out right there. First finger onto this key, and it will stay by that key. Middle finger right there, third finger right there, and pinky right by these keys. Now we keep the fingers by these keys all the time. We might not be pressing them, but we keep them right there. They don't move out of position. They're always ready to press and go up and down in those spots. Okay, So there you go. That's the hand position for the saxophone. So now you know how to hold the saxophone, and you know that the, one of the most important things in getting a good sound is using your airstream and having good posture, but there's one key element we haven't talked about yet. It's embouchure. What's an embouchure? Well, the embouchure is how you put your mouth on the mouthpiece of the saxophone, how you hold your mouth on there, and that's how you control the way the reed vibrates. And the way the reed vibrates makes a difference in how the sound comes out. 
So I'm going to just demonstrate really quickly a bad embouchure, no embouchure, just putting my mouth on there without anything. That does not sound too good. So I guess I need to work on my embouchure a little bit. I'm going to show you how to get a good embouchure. The bottom teeth are going to be covered over by the bottom lip. The bottom lip will go over the bottom teeth as a cushion. Okay, just curl your bottom lip over your bottom teeth, all right? And then the top teeth will go on top of the mouthpiece. And as you do that, the bottom lip comes up and presses against the reed underneath the mouthpiece, the reed that's on the mouthpiece. Just like that. Did you see that? My teeth are under here. My top teeth are on the mouthpiece. And you can even buy these little teeth savers that I use just to help soften up your top teeth. Those are good. You can get those at your music store. All right? We're not complete yet, though. We have to seal around the mouthpiece because if I try to blow like that, I won't get anything going. <sighs> All my air goes through my teeth. So I need to seal up with my top lip around the mouthpiece. And I, what I want to do is I want to think of the lips as a rubber band around the mouthpiece, sealing it up and so that the air can flow just about that airstream flowing through the saxophone to get a good sound. <laughs> Now, you have an embouchure. What's very important once you get that embouchure is finding the perfect spot to put your embouchure, to put your teeth and your lip on that mouthpiece and on the reed. If I push it too far forward, it's not going to sound very good. It's going to sound very much like a honking saxophone. Not as good as if I move it back, but if I move it back too far, listen to this, it'll pinch the reed off. So I'm pinching the reed off, it's not vibrating at all. So there's a perfect spot. And if you want to look really exact, it's, it's, your bottom lip should touch about where the reed meets the mouthpiece, okay? That's about where the bottom lip should be pressing against. Now remember, Getting a good sound is about good posture, airstream going from deep down, take big breaths through your mouth when you play, and blow all the way through the saxophone, and having a good embouchure, you can set your embouchure steady, and you'll get a good sound, and keep working on it. And the way to work on getting a sound is work on long tones, just holding out notes long periods of time, and you'll get better and better at the sound. I do that every day. I've been doing it for many years to get my sound just the way I like it.